day three in this new house. I just set this office up uh, yesterday. Uh, it's not complete because you can see there are cords on the ground and I hate cords. So I'm gonna have to do some management there. And something came in today, which is that box there. Uh, that's a, I believe it's a Google Home. Uh, I bought a washer and dryer two days ago and if you, it's a Memorial Day special. So if you buy $1,700 and up, you get a Google Home. Now I didn't care for this Google Home until now because uh, I wanna make this house a smart home. So Google Home should be a good place to start. So let's unbox it. Okay, so far the voice is really good. So I have already uh, get Google Home app and go through the steps. Pretty straightforward. So now I'm gonna continue with the tutorial. Okay, Google, how far away is the moon? The moon is 238,900 miles from Earth. Let's continue. Hey Google, tell me about my day. Good afternoon, T. I hope your day is going well. The time is 2.33 p.m. Right now in Colorado Springs, it's 72 and mostly cloudy. Today, it'll be cloudy with a forecasted high of 74 and a low of 45. Your commute to home is currently 11 minutes with light traffic if you take CO21 south by car. Have a good one. Here's the latest news from NPR News Summary at 2 p.m. today. Live from NPR News in Washington, I'm Lakshmi Singh. Okay, Google, Google stop. Fourth US wow, that's uh, it's giving me a lot of information. Hey, Google, play some music. Okay, music on Google Play Music. Here you go. Wait till you're announced. Okay, Google, what can you do? I can help you do lots of things. For example, you can say, repeat after me, hello. Hey, Google, turn it up. Hey, Google, stop the music. Okay, Google, what can you do? Here are some suggestions. You can say, how was your day yesterday? Or, when do the Crusaders play next? Would you like to hear some more? Okay, so another cool thing about this is they just introduced these multi-user features. Teach your assistants to distinguish your voice from others in your home. I'm gonna get started. Let's get started. Give them access to microphone. Okay, Google. Hey, Google. Okay, Google. Hey Google. So I'm gonna follow through the steps with my fiance so it will recognize my fiance's voice and my voice. Okay, I'm all set, continue. Tell others in your home. Google Home works with multiple people. Tell others at home to download Google Home app so they can get personal result too. I'm gonna to say, okay. I'm gonna invite. Okay, so I'm gonna send this invitation to Nikki. Chromecast audio and speakers. So I can get all this. Pandora, Google Play Music, where is Amazon Music? Because that's what I have. So browse app. So let's look for Amazon Music. Another thing I learned about this Google Home is it has touch sensitive top. So if you were to press and hold with your finger on this, you can actually spin to turn the volume on and off, lower and higher. If you tap on the Google Home, you get to pause the music and then you tap it again to play. And in the back, you can see there is a button to mute the microphone. Another thing I did to the Google Home is I connected uh, it to a uh, Chromecast. So I have a Chromecast stick, which is an older version of Chromecast. And I connected to the, my TV through an HDMI cable. So now I can use this to control the Chromecast stick. So for example, if I were to say something like, okay Google, play YouTube videos in living room. All right, play recommended YouTube videos on living room. So the volume is lower now, so I'm gonna say, okay Google, maximum volume. I can also say something like, okay Google, play music in living room. Allow me to introduce the rest of us. Google Play Music. Play 
playing our living room. I'm gonna get copyright notice for playing this. Okay, Google, pause. Bang, 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 bang. So Google has a hard time hearing my voice when the music is loud. The good thing about uh, having Google Home control all the Comca uh, Chromecast devices is that this Chromecast device is connected to an HDMI and it's, the, and it's also connecting to a soundbar. So when I use Google Home to uh, give direction to the Chromecast, the Chromecast would use the speakers, the, the soundbar that I have here on the bottom to play music and videos. So they are all connected together. Uh, with this way, I, I don't have to use the speakers on Google Home. I can just use the speaker that I have connected to the Chromecast. I learned that with an iPhone, you cannot cast Am Amazon Music to, to your Google Home. But on an Android phone, you can actually do it. So let me go to my Amazon Music and let's uh, open up a recently add song and let's play one. When the day now to make this go up to Google Home, all I have to do is, let's see, on your Android device, look for something called Cast. So on my LG V10, I have something called Mirrorcast. So now, it's actually, when I play it, it's gonna go to my Google Home. As you can hear it. Okay, Google, max volume. So that's another trick to do because Google Home is, does not support Amazon Music for now. Uh, out of the box, it comes with only four types. So Spotify, Pandora, YouTube Music, and uh, Google Play Music. So it is raining outside, and I thought of a scenario where uh, I can use the Google Home for. For example, I have a balcony, and I usually do time lapse of the park and the sunset. But my GoPro Hero 5, I knew that it's, it has waterproof, but I'm not sure if it has waterproof or not, because I'm gonna go and create my time lapse. So this is one of the scenario where the Google Home will be more effective because my phone is charging. I can't just, just Google it, you know? So I can say, okay, Google, is the GoPro Hero 5 waterproof? According to Petapixel, GoPro is calling the new Hero 5 Black simply the best GoPro ever. They're not wrong. Waterproof the 33 feet out of the box then featuring... Okay, Google, video, stop. Stabilization. So you guys remember that I used the... Google Home to ask if my GoPro Hero 5 is waterproof and Google Home say it is. Well, let's hope it's true because it's raining outside and I have my Hero 5 out in the rain shooting a time lapse.